Alright, so I'll be doing a problem from chapter 13, section 9. It's exercise 15 at the end of the, the uh, subsection. And the problem is, a company man manufactures two types of sneakers, running shoes and basketball shoes. The total revenue from X units of running shoes and Y units of basketball shoes is a function of R given as negative 5X squared minus 8Y squared minus 2XY plus 42X plus 102Y where x and y are in thousands of units. Find x and y so as to maximize the revenue. So we know right away we're doing a maximization problem. So we're going to take the first partial derivatives in terms of x and y right away. First I took the partial derivative in terms of x. Oh, just, just a side note, um, the book does give the uh, values of basketball shoes and running shoes in terms of x sub 1 and x sub 2. Um, I don't I don't like that um, so I did not do that. I changed x sub 2 to sub y. So there we have the uh, first partial derivative in terms of x. Um, pretty easy derivation. And here we have the first partial derivative in terms of y. So now that we have these two, the next step is to set them both equal to zero. So as to find our critical points. So doing that, we get these two equations. Again, not much to this step. So now uh, we just have to decide uh, how we want to find the points where these two equations are going to be equal to zero. Um, since we didn't really have any um, powers of two or anything higher than that, it's, they're both pretty simple equations, I thought the easiest way would be to solve for y. Um, so I solved negative 10x minus 2y plus 42 for y. And that gives us, oh, that doesn't give us that. Gives us this right here. So now that we have that from this equation, we can plug it into this equation right here. That's going to give us this. So all I did is just substitute in the y here, and then from there, we get this, and from there, we get the first point that we're looking for, and that is x equals 3, right here. So this is uh, basically half of the problem. We're only looking for x and y, um, and due to the nature of these equations, there there's only one value that uh, will give us <coughs> zero in uh, both of these cases. So, we're only looking for the one set of critical points. Now, I just plugged x equals 3 back into this equation right here. And doing that gives us this. So, after we get that, all we need to do is solve for y. And solving this for y gives us y equals 6. So right there we have the answer to the problem. The point is 3, 6. And uh, that means that to maximize revenue, the company is going to want to make 3,000 running shoes and 6,000 basketball shoes. But uh, there is one more step. Even though there's only one critical point, we still want to use the second partials test to confirm that we are getting maximum. Uh, we're not getting a minimum, we're not getting a saddle point. Um, so with the second partials test, <coughs> oh, the first step is to take the second partial in terms of xx, which in this case actually gives us a constant. It's nice and easy to deal with. So the second partial derivative in terms of xx is negative 10. Now we move on to the second partial derivative in terms of yy. Again, we get a constant. It's going to be negative 16. Um, 
So all that's left before we actually go into the second partial test itself is to get the second partial in terms of x, y, which gives us another constant. We've got negative 2. So the first thing I did was figure out d. And d in this case is pretty simple. Again, just a bunch of constants. We don't even have to plug in any of the values <coughs> from the critical points. Um, and by doing that, we get d equals 156. So fortunately, that is above 0. Looks like we're on the right track so far. And then the second part is just to take one of the second partial derivatives that we already have, this one right here, and make sure that it's less than 0. Uh, we don't have to plug anything in there either. Again, all of our second partials are constants. Um, so since it's negative 10, it is in fact less than 0, and d is in fact greater than 0. So passes the second partial test, it does look like the point 0.36 is in fact a maximum. I also went and figured out what the revenue was. <clears throat> this seems like a little bit of a strange number. I'd assume that this is in thousands as well, because I, I don't think that a company would be making $369 in revenue, but you never know. Then I did one other thing. Mm -hmm. I found <clears throat> this graph on 3D Calc Plot. It's a little bit hard to get the uh, axis right. You can see it's a little bit messed up. But this is this is the equation that we get. And this black dot right up here, that's the point we found. So clearly it's a maximum. Um, and there we go. That's the problem.